know, considering the amount of uh, food I had left over from those nachos last night, shouldn't be any question about what I'm going to have for breakfast this morning. I'm going to have another one of my magic burritos. But I've got a little thing that I want to check out on it. I've seen it, but I've never done it. It's, it's a little trick there. Get some of this. Some of these nachos out of here. And That looks like about the right amount. Make a breakfast burrito. Okay, the filling is So I'll pour the egg over it. So I'll pepper it at this point. and get my tortilla out of the microwave. It's nice and hot and softened up. Up here to make the seal. And they have two different packages of uh, hot sauce here. This one's mild. I've had it, and it's a little more than ketchup. So I'm going to use the hot. And I'll roll this up now. And here's where the little trick that I'm going to try today to improve the uh, burrito. Some grated cheese. And put the burrito on top of it and let that toast. And I'll put the other side of the burrito down on that cheese. See the difference here? Okay, here I am at the table with my co coffee and my toasted burrito, 
which I'm going to enjoy, and then I'm going to tell you a story. That's one good burrito, and especially that toasting on here, that uh, cheese toast, that really adds to the flavor. Okay, I'm going to finish my my breakfast and then I'll be back to tell you a story. <clears throat> well that was a great breakfast. When I lived in Colorado I wasn't much of a bumper sticker sort of guy but I did have two of them on my pickup. One of them was Don't Californicate Colorado, which they did. And the other one was Free Violent Smith. And how I came by that was one morning I stopped by the little restaurant in the town of Hesperus, Colorado, over in the very southwest corner. And the waitress there, while she was serving me, she brought out, handed me a bumper sticker. And says, could I sell you this bumper sticker for $10? We're trying to raise the thousand dollars to go the bond to get Violet Smith out of jail. <laughs> She's in jail down in Dur Durango, and uh, we're trying to raise the thousand dollars to get her out. And I, uh, I said, "Well, what did she get in for?" And she says she beat up a mining inspector up in her coal mine. So. I gave her the ten dollars and later I was over there and actually met the lady and the story about it was that she had a little coal mine up there and uh, she was always being harassed by government mine inspectors and she even had a sign outside that said if you're a government inspector get the hell out of here. Uh, she, she was about, about six two, that's what I am and she was built like a linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys so I, I have an idea she could take care of herself in most any fight <clears throat> but anyway she was arrested for aggravated assault uh, it seems as though a mining inspector came up there and told her that uh, she had to put in a ten thousand dollar methane monitor in her mine or they were going to shut it down. And she reached in his car and grabbed him by the tie and drug him out through a window and beat on him a little. She says she put it, as she put it, she says, I slapped a little sense into his head. Says he left there, I thought he'd wet his pants. But anyway, uh, she, when the trial finally came up, he didn't show up and uh, it was dismissed, but uh, at least my ten dollars helped her keep her out of jail for about nine months while she waited for the trial. But this is a picture of her. And uh, she was quite a lady. I, I found out later when in checking the internet that she was born two years before I was and died about five years ago. And. Uh, she she was the town character of Hesperus. Hesperus had about oh, probably 200 people. But that's my story about it. So God bless America. God bless Texas. And where would you find a picture like this other than in Texas? Bye.